In this video, I will demonstrate on the functionalities of the cloud counting application. This is the home page of the application where the user can choose between a video and a webcam. This is a cloud counting application where it can detect the number of people in the video or live feed. When the number of people detected exceeds a certain threshold, a warning message will be displayed informing users to keep a distance. This will be demonstrated using the video and the webcam functions. To test the webcam function, the user can click on the webcam button. After clicking on the button, the webcam interface will be shown to the user. The threshold represents the maximum number of people allowed in a particular scene before a warning message is sent. After entering a suitable threshold, the open webcam button is pressed. The short waiting time is due to the time taken for the live feed of the webcam to be fed into the cloud content network. As we can see, it is showing the live feed and the number of people in the video on the screen. To stop the live feed, the close webcam button is pressed and the live feed will stop showing on the screen. In the case where a video instead of a live feed is required, the user shall use the video functionality. To detect the number of people in the video, the video must first be uploaded to the back end of the application. To upload a video, the user can click on the Upload File button and choose the video file. After the video has been uploaded and a suitable threshold is entered, the Open Video button can be pressed and the video will display on the front end with the number of people in the particular frame of the video. If the user would like to choose another video, the user would just need to upload a new video. The user can then press the open video button and the live cloud counting will then be applied on the new video. Once again, if the threshold is exceeded, the warning message will appear. We have come to the end of the video presentation. Thank you.